So in this video, I just wanted to kind of share my um, history, really, of, of the arrows that I've actually used um, and purchased since I began archery. Um, I've not actually, I don't think I've actually sold any arrows, actually. I seem to have collected them all um, just in the thought that I might use these again, some of them again. Um, when I get a bit older and I can't pull the bow and I come down the poundages again, I'll probably kind of reuse the um, the arrows that I don't use at the moment. I've had quite a few um, different kinds of arrows and I now kind of split between um, outdoors and indoor arrows because I like a fatter arrow indoors um, and a skinny arrow outdoors, of course, for, for distance wise. Um, so the first arrow that I actually bought when I bought my beginner's kit or was uh, guided towards was the Eastern XX 75 Platinum Plus. Now this is um, a brilliant arrow. It's aluminium. Um, it's great value for money. I think a lot of people start off with these. Um, you can bend them. Um, you can hit things with them, um, but they're easy and cheap to replace. You can buy these in singles. You've probably all had them or got them or know someone that sort of uses them. Um, they come in many various spines, so there's 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 an arrow for everybody in this range, um, and they continually keep making those these. They haven't dropped the range at all. Um, I started off, and these are 1916s that I started off with. I actually then went to a 2016, I think, but I haven't shown those in the video, uh, mainly because I thought they were just too similar, just a word change really in a slight larger diameter. But um, yeah, so these are 1916s nice and shiny as you can see they kind of um, don't show up too well on this camera but they've been brilliant and I kind of currently use them for um, on my second bow for field archery as well because I wanted a kind of a cheap arrow which I didn't mind if I bust it or lost it um, as opposed to some more expensive arrows obviously I've built these um, ones myself but I've just gone for some kind of plastic um, veins on here and a push in um, small kind of genoc on the end here now you can put various things on here I've gone for the plastic veins you could put feathers on here um, you could go for shield veins or or not <laughs> it's up to you really I mean there's so many choices on sizes of veins as well and makes um, the points are kind of one piece um, kind of a, a nib point I mean, look on the Eastern catalogue really to find out what kind of points they kind of recommend for your spines and everything like that. The only downside to aluminum or aluminium is if it's a wet day and you're trying to pull them out of a target, especially a danage or danage foam, um, they, you will hear people squeaking. They will come out squeaking <laughs> like mad. Um, so they're not great at grip in the wet, very difficult to grip them in the wet. Overall, a brilliant arrow that I thoroughly recommend for beginners uh, is the Eastern XX75s. Now, a step up from the um, XX75 was the next arrow that I went on to for outdoors, and that is the classic Eastern ACC arrow. Um, again, come in many spines, a really popular arrow, really brilliant quality, great value for money thoroughly recommend these i'm going to do a separate video actually on these as well to go into more detail on them um, now i used the 620s um, when i started off and then i actually bought those new and you can buy those in singles as well the eastern acc so if you smash one up you can always again go out and buy just one more to add to your uh, collection the, again quite a small um, plastic uh, vein on here as well and they push in um, Eastern Genoc small on these ones as well the 500s these were actually bought second hand and these were bought for my compound bow there are many out there on the second hand market make sure you get a good quality arrow if you're buying these second hand it's difficult to tell sometimes but usually um, if they're not been shot a lot you can tell by the the decals like on here are very clean so you know you're getting a sort of a, 
a good arrow there really um, yeah so I use these 500s on my compound um, really love these outside as well again I have shot a couple up um, but easy to cheap and easy to replace now what I bought after I'd used the ACCs for quite a while obviously I went to my next my current arrow as well as the uh, AECE now I haven't gone all the way to X10s yet outside but the ACEs these ACEs I bought actually second hand and I got a great price on these um, and they've done really well and I've only managed to lose a couple of them I think one got hit by someone else on a target and I think I broke another one um, but such a great arrow um, Easton's kind of lightest um, professional kind of arrow I would say really because the X10s are supposed to be a little bit heavier um, these are a 520 that I use and I basically have um, screw in points on these and I think in total I've got the inserts and the screw in points and my total is 110 grains on these so these are C5s have a uh, check on these if you're buying them second hand at all because I believe you can go one number either side and you'll be fine yeah, so I've got um, spin wings on these. These are excess wings, low profile recurve ones. And then I've got the pins, Eastern pin knocks in the back and a biter number one clear um, knock. Now for indoors, I bought these uh, Eastern Triumphs, which are all carbons, um, full kind of 9.3 mil uh, diameter. Uh, really really like them I got some four inch feathers put on these and I've got a biter number one pin knock on the end of there as well um, not much to say about them really I've loaded them up really heavily on the front with like a 200 grain point um, I didn't think I was going to end up using them recurve I thought I was going to use them on my compound but they shoot really well on my recurve at 37 38 pounds as well as uh, on my compound so while I can use them on both I just have to sort of turn the knocks really so what happened was I kind of started using these and then I went away from them and went to a carbon express arrow but I've actually come back to these um, and I prefer them these are a 500 uh, triumph which unfortunately they don't actually make these eastern triumphs anymore which is a bit of a shame they went the same way as the kind of fat boys did now what I did move on to though uh, in between those was the, this Carbon Express X-Bus the 600 because it's really difficult to get like a spine like a 600 in an eastern range because a lot of those arrows carbon arrows only go sort of uh, up to 500 so you could get a 600 in this Carbon Express again a four inch um, feather on these I really like the back end of them I mean they're really well protected at the back again a push on uh, biter one uh, pin knock and 120 grain uh, point in the front of these but I felt that the spine they kind of were a bit all over the place really I couldn't get used to them they they for the 600s I probably could have gone up to a 500 but instead of buying another set and trying those I decided to go back to the triumphs um, and I was happy with those but very nice looking arrow these X busters I mean the first arrow that I, have, that I bought that wasn't an Eastern Arrow, to be honest. Um, and I was very impressed by the um, by the build quality and the graphics are really nice. And I think I've chosen some nice colours there in the red and white feathers as well. So yeah, I highly recommend those um, Carbon Express X-Busters, even though I don't shoot them at the moment. But I just wanted to kind of show you the the difference between the kind of ACE in the middle and the two, the X-Buster on the bottom, the 600 and the 500 uh, Eastern Triumph on the top. It's, it's amazing when I go from move from kind of going outdoors to indoors and indoors to outdoors, the difference is like a knitting needle shooting a really thin knitting needle with the ACE. But um, when I go indoors, it's like shooting a really fat cigar out of a bow when I come to the, um, to the fat carb, all carbon arrows. I can't believe actually how, how big they are. People say I'm shooting tree trunks. Yeah, but I can still miss with a tree trunk. So 
So this is uh, all of the arrows kind of put together. We've got the Eastern Triumph at the top, the ACE, the uh, X-Buster 600, and then the two uh, ACCs, and then the Eastern XX75 Platinum Plus at the bottom there. So that's my kind of history of my arrows. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please like the video if you did and subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you soon.